Hello, my name is Lola Salinas. I'm a senior at San Jose State and my major is International Business. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you around San Jose State University. Our campus is in the heart of the Silicon Valley with a vibrant and innovative atmosphere. Come on, I'll show you around. We start our tour at the Welcome Center inside the Diaz Compian Student Union, the hub of student life on campus. We have a separate video tour of the Student Union, so be sure to check that out. This is our Charles W. Davidson College of Engineering building, which houses some of our most popular majors on campus, such as civil engineering, biomedical engineering, mechanical engineering, and much more. Because of our close proximity to Silicon Valley, we are able to partner up with companies like Cisco and Apple to allow our students to gain hands-on experience. This is our Industrial Studies building, which houses one of our unique majors, aviation, as well as our engineering technology major. Fun fact, we're the only CSU to offer aviation as a degree, and along with receiving a degree, our aviation students also graduate with their pilot's license as well. Walking down the 9th Street Plaza, we are passing the art building where we house different majors including animation and illustration, graphic design, interior design, and much more. Our past alumni have worked with companies such as Pixar, Nickelodeon, Disney, and Cartoon Network. They've also worked on movies such as Finding Dory, Big Hero 6, and our most well-known one, The Incredibles. In fact, in the last scene where Dash is running around the track, you can see on the scoreboard it says, Go Spartans. This is an homage to the SJSU alumni who worked on the film. Opposite of the Arts Building is the Bercato Business Complex, home to the Lucas College and Graduate School of Business, where students can choose to study business administration with concentrations like accounting, marketing, and entrepreneurship. Our business program is accredited by the AACSB International, and over 80% of our alumni live in Silicon Valley and earn a higher income than the national average. According to Money Magazine, SJSU is ranked as number one most transformative college in the United States. This is our amazing music building where we have 36 soundproof practice rooms, a recording studio, and a concert hall. If you're interested in joining our marching band, jazz band, or choir, this is the place you want to be. We also have $250,000 in scholarships that music students are eligible to apply for. Across the way is the Health Building, which houses the Valley Foundation School of Nursing in the College of Health and Human Sciences. Our nursing students are provided with a simulation lab and a skills lab, which gives them that hands-on learning experience. This is the 7th Street Plaza, which is typically the busiest part of campus. Out here, students are able to learn about any upcoming events, speak with our various clubs and organizations, and hear about the upcoming games on campus. We have over 350 clubs and organizations on campus, ranging from academic to social involvement. The Central Classroom Building houses the Department of Occupational Therapy and Nutrition, Food Science and Packaging. In the back of this building, we also have a preschool, which allows our child and adolescent development majors to earn observational hours and hands-on learning that helps them get one step closer to their degree. Clark Hall houses majors like Chicana and Chicano Studies, Anthropology, Linguistics, and Political Science. Here on the first floor, we have a computer lab that is available for our students as well as the Office of our Undocumented Students and Educational Opportunity Program, or EOP. This is a great resource for first-generation college students, which provides mentorship, advising, and advice for navigating your way through college. In the center of campus, you'll find the Tommy Smith and John Carlos statue. It honors our alumni who stood up for social justice during the civil rights movement. These athletes competed and placed in the 1968 Olympics. During the ceremony, raised their arms and bowed their head in protest. They were both shoeless and wearing black socks to symbolize poverty in African-American communities. Tommy Smith, who won the gold medal, is holding an olive branch to symbolize peace and unity, while John Carlos, who won the bronze medal, is wearing a beaded necklace to represent the lynchings of America's past. This statue honors their courage and commitment and serves as a beacon for social justice. 
Across the green is Dwight Bentall Hall, one of the original buildings on campus. Journalism and mass communication majors will spend most of their time here. This is the home of our award-winning Spartan Daily newspaper, which is run completely by students. SJSU Update News is also recorded in this building. It's a weekly news broadcast produced by journalism majors. This is Dudley Moorhead Hall, which houses majors like history, psychology, sociology, women, gender, and sexuality studies, and Asian American studies. On the right side, we have the Instructional Resource Center, which allows our students to rent videos and media equipment. Next door, Hugh Gillis Hall houses the majors of communications, theater, radio, television, and film. There's also a radio station here that is completely run by students. This is our Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Library. A separate video tour takes you inside this incredible library, the first city university partnership, so don't miss out on that. Hammer Theater, about a block away from campus in downtown San Jose, hosts numerous university and cultural events. Tower Hall and the Morris Daly Auditorium are one of the oldest buildings on campus. We were the first public university in California. The Morris Daly Auditorium has over a thousand seats and is mostly used for popular general education courses. This is also where orientation is held as well as other events with guest speakers. Directly across from Tower Hall, we have our science building. Fun fact, when they were constructing this building, they had a budget of only $350. To stay on budget, equipment from World War II was used to build it. This building is home to our astronomy, physics, and entomology. Across the way, we have Washington Square Hall. This building houses departments such as African American Studies, Urban and Regional Planning, Geography, Environmental Studies, Social Work, and the Dance Program. Washington Square Hall also houses the Environmental Resource Center and Center for the Development of Recycling. Next up, we have Yoshihiro Uchida Hall, or YUH, which is named after Yoshihiro Uchida, who also introduced Judo to the Olympics. Coach Ochida is 102 years old and is still active in our world-renowned judo program. In addition to the dojo, Uchida Hall also houses our health sciences. Next door is our Spartan complex. Inside, you will find a gymnasium, auditorium, dance studios, kinesiology labs, indoor aquatic center, and more. Duncan Hall is where you'll find biology, meteorology, and photography. If you look at the top, you can see that there is equipment. This is used to collect weather forecasts, which are sometimes sent to local news stations. In front of Duncan Hall is our new Interdisciplinary Science Building. It is the most sustainable building on campus and one of the most sustainable buildings in San Jose. The eight-story building will feature 41 faculty offices, administrative and support areas, mentoring hubs on each floor, biology and chemistry teaching and research labs, and a high performance computing suite for astronomers, physicists, social science, and health professionals. Here we have Macquarie Hall, home to mathematics, computer science, justice studies, and forensic science. The forensic science department organizes mock crime scenes for students on the lawn each semester. This building is for the Connie L. Lurie College of Education. It houses our child and adolescent development and communicative disorder majors. On the first floor, we also have a daycare. Our students are assigned to either work in the preschool or the daycare for our practicum course. Our student wellness center is our doctor's office on campus. On the first floor, we have a pharmacy that offers discounted rates to students and a student lounge that offers cooking courses, self-care workshops, and much more. On our second floor, students are able to meet with practitioners, and on our third floor, students have the option to meet with our counseling and psychological services, also known as CAPS. Across the plaza is the Provident Credit Union Event Center, a multi-purpose arena where we have our D1 basketball team play, our gymnastic meets, and our yearly concerts. 
The South Campus, a short distance away, is home to the Spartan Athletics, including football, soccer, volleyball, baseball, track and field, and more. Our Spartan Recreation and Aquatic Center is one of our newest buildings on campus. It has two pools, a leisure pool and a lap pool. We have an indoor rock climbing wall, an indoor track, two basketball courts, a volleyball court, indoor soccer courts, free weights, and our outdoor adventure program. And finally, our on-campus housing is located in the southeast corner. We have a separate video tour of our residence halls so you can see what it's like to live on campus. Thank you for joining us on our campus tour. We hope to see you on campus in the future.